Today is December 2nd, 2020, and we are walking down B Street in San Mateo. There's a number of restaurants. This area is actually centers around the Century 12 Theater, the San Mateo Theater. Fire line. You can see this pair of lines on the street that's been painted, which kind of like just defines the fire lane. Weather rise, you know, they've had included these large tents and then they included the uh, sides of the tent. So basically, when you're walking down the center fire lane area, you don't get a sense of what, what's inside. It's kind of privatized, so that's kind of a missed opportunity in terms of urban design. You can get this feel like just by having these tents weatherized with the sides enclosed. You have basically turn your back to the middle to the par middle part of the street so i'm not sure this is exactly what they were having in mind and providing kind of a congenial public space but you could so this is the, kind of the main thoroughfare where people kind of walk them down, down the fire lane turning to the right on second so, avenue traffic so, is still flowing here but they have parklets to provide so, outdoor dining Asakaya May has a large outdoor area. You can see they've used, they've kind of walled it off, but they've actually used corrugated plexi on the sides and a tin roof on top to kind of create an enclosure. And as you can see here. And then they've actually kind of dressed the space. So the question is, is this space too enclosed to be considered outdoor dining? Uh, you have visibility out, but there's not much fresh air, it seems, or not openings to provide fresh air coming in. And, uh, so that people from afar can see this place. There's a very large, pretty high tent, temporary tent, they have a balustrade around the edges. At night, they have electric lights, so it makes a pretty nice space and an amount of square footage taken is you know a pretty good capacity pretty good size That's, but you can see the tents are kind of rather enclosed the space so let's take a look going down the sidewalk experience of the sidewalk experience so from the sidewalk experience it's definitely opened up because okay, the storefront on one side the corridor on the other and you do get a sense The open uh, open space so I could see that each of those different restaurants sees this as kind of like this outdoor area as an extension of the restaurant space depending on each restaurant they have a uh, propane heater over here another tent and then you have the sports pub over here you can see and, uh, people. and at the sports bar they've actually have their large scale TV out for the public to experience. So they're trying to get the outdoor experience for everyone. So that's kind of cool. Hello, Mom. I'm in California. So then we have the back out here is the uh, blue bottle forms the end of the block. So you can see the outdoor dining area is well used, and with a couple of design tweaks towards. The sight lines could be made even better. If you like this video, please press the like button or subscribe. Thank you for listening.